Hello, you YouTubers out there. God bless you. God bless America and God bless the whole wide world in the Lord's hands. New prophecy from the throne room. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Prophecy on Hillary Clinton. You're going to see a lot of fast prophecy. Move 2012 real quick here. I look for President Obama might offer Hillary Clinton to be his vice president running mate in 2012 here. Joe Biden has stuck his foot in his mouth too many times for President Obama. George, Joe Biden has the foot mouth disease. So I look for President Obama to offer Hillary Clinton to be the vice president on his running uh, team for 2012. If she steps or not, it's up to her because Hillary really wanted to be the first female woman president in the history of the United States of America and only reason that President Obama won it 2008 because supernatural uh, President Obama is the Antichrist and uh, the prophecy I'm going to bring out Hillary Clinton today that everything that Hillary Clinton and I call him Barry Goat Clinton anybody that's ever been associated with him uh, it ended up dead or in prison, and they've come out smelling like a rose. And Hillary Clinton is kind of type of a Queen Jezebel. I'm gonna read about it later about how Queen Jezebel was one of the most wicked queens in Israel's history. But uh, Hillary Clinton might not take President Obama's vice president, you know, ticket, and she might even run for president because she always wanted to be the first woman president elect the United States of America history and God showed me not too long ago in this dream I, I seen Hillary Clinton I said Hillary why did you shot shoot President Obama and she looked at me real mean and she said uh, that our new world order plans have to be completed by December the 2012 and in this dream she hard to hit man but really her plan backfired on her because uh, President Obama is Antichrist and when he gets shot that President Obama's soul would leave his body and the devil was nowhere in the Bible, Lucifer and Satan were in his body and then all hell would break loose, you know. And I really believe this prophecy on Hillary Clinton, just keep your eyes on December 2012 that a lot of things could happen, and, and, and I told her, where did you shoot him? And she acknowledged it. She had a hit man hard and tried to blame it on the Christians And because President Obama is a Muslim. And I'm going to read out the Bible, Holy Bible today in 2 Kings uh, chapter 9 and verses 30 through 37. I don't... I pray this don't happen to Hillary Clinton because Jezebel was a wicked uh, queen and Hillary's kind of like a Jezebel here. And I pray for Hillary Clinton. And I feel, pray for uh, Barry Goat Clinton too. And when Jeru was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it and she painted her face and tied her head and looked out the window. And as Jehu entered into the gate, she said, had zero peace who slew his master, and he lifted up his face to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? And there looked out to him two or three unches. And he said, Throw her down. So they threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and on the horses, and he trod her underfoot. And when he was come in, he did eat and drink and said, Go see now this cursed woman and bury her, for she is the king's daughter. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hands. Hands. Wherefore they came again and told him, and he said, This is the word of the Lord which he spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbet, saying, In the portion of Jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel, and the carcass of Jezebel shall be as dung among the face of the field, in a portion of Jezreel, so that they shall not say, This is Jezebel. Well, that was a terrible death that 
Jezebel had, but she was one of the most wicked queens in the history of Israel. And I pray for Hillary Clinton, but I know that the New World Order is behind her, and I believe she dabbles in witchcraft, and I believe she's a witch too. And I pray for her and Billy Goat Clinton, her husband, Bill. And this is a prophetic word straight from the throne room, from the prophecy of God Almighty, the prophecy on Hillary Clinton. You'll see a lot of things happen 2012. Keep your eyes on, especially December 2012. Watch Hillary Clinton very closely and watch what's going to happen here. Bible prophecy is speeding up faster and faster every day God speed. But this is the most important part of the film. Prophecy is great. There's nothing wrong with prophecy. But uh, worship God for the testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy. You know, Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And Jesus wants to come into your heart. Let Jesus Christ come into your heart. And that will be your greatest decision in your life when Jesus Christ comes into your heart. When Jesus forgives you for your sin and Jesus saves your soul. You're born again, new creature in Christ. And Jesus lives in your heart. And You'll be the richest man and woman ever put, walk the face of earth. So today, all my YouTubers out there in North America and South America and Africa and Europe, Middle East, Far East, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus Christ, Savior, Messiah, for writing my name in the land book of life. Amen, amen. You said that prayer today. Give Jesus the best thing. Clap. Jesus Christ, just saved your soul. Your name written in the land book of uh, uh, life. You're the richest man a, a, a woman ever walked the face of earth if you didn't have a pen in your pocket. There's millionaires out there today. There's billionaires out there today that don't have Jesus Christ in their heart. They're paupers. They're, they're in spiritual poverty. Thank you, Jesus, saving many people's soul in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Me and Betty Kelly love you. We thank Jesus for you here. At least the Brother Ministries headquarters, Pinkneyville, Illinois. We thank you too for this anointed prophetic video on prophecy on Hillary Clinton. These things will happen. God's feet in 2012. You will see these things. For the glory be to God. Uh, write George and Betty Cully on YouTube channel. Email us. We have an email there, the old beloved YouTube channel, uh, and our address. And we want to hear from you. Jesus Christ saved your soul today in North America, and South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. You know, coming March the 1st, like the Ides of March coming up here in the middle of March 2012. Google's going to Google us, a new YouTube channel here, and the old. Beloved YouTube channel is going to be gone with the wind and bite the dust. It looks like uh, more censorship's coming and, and our prophecy might be gone out the window. Who knows? But we thank you, Jesus, for right now we have the freedom of religion, the freedom of uh, speech here on January 31st, 2012, the United States of America. We give you all the praise and glory and honor. We raise our hands to Jesus Christ. King of kings and Lord of lords, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Glory be to God. Lift your hands to heaven. I release a prophetic mantle. Lift your hands to heaven. Let thy mantle fall double portion of the Holy Ghost of power. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, King of kings and Lord of lords, the Savior Messiah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we love you. Praise your holy name. Glory be to God and hallelujah. God bless you. We'll see y'all. Amen. Shalom. Sayonara. Have a good day in Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Yesterday uh, gone. Tomorrow might not come. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for me and Betty. Me and Betty love you. We'll keep praying for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anoint this video, consecrate it, dedicate it, command it, sanctify it. For God be the glory. Shake the nation. For the glory be the God. Shake the nation. Shake the nation, Jesus. Shake them with spiritual earthquakes. Thank you, Jesus.